So the first thing you're going to want to do is come to this website just here. I will leave a link in the description down below. So as you can see, it is how to get the invisible item frames. And it is also a texture pack. So it's actually very easy to download and install. So once you're on this page, just simply scroll down. Keep going until you find the download links, which is quite a way down on this page. And as you can see, it is just here. So just click on this link just here, the download one, click on that. And once you've clicked on that, it will bring you to this page just here. Simply from here, you can scroll down or click on this link just here to skip to downloads. Click on that. Then once you are here, what you're going to want to do is select the version you want. And so you can choose that up here if you want to. So depending on what version you want to play, you can select this. Also, this will work for Android, iOS and Windows 10. So it works for all these versions and the installation is very similar. So you have got two options here. You can select this one here, the data pack, or you can select this one here, which is the pack. So for me, I'm going to be doing this one just here. I'm going to select this one here. And now we've got to select I'm not a robot, select that as well. And now wait for this to process. While this is downloading, if you're looking to get your own Minecraft server for Bedrock Edition, I recommend checking out Apex Hosting, as they do have some really good high quality servers. And they also do come with a DDoS protection. So be sure to check them out for the link in the description down below. Or if you want to see the top three best server hostings, check out this video on the screen right now. But now what we're going to want to do is click on get to downloads, click on the button just here, get this one. And what we're going to do is select the one we want, which could be this one just here for me. I'm going to select that one there. And now it's going to start downloading. So I'm on my desktop right now. So what you're going to want to do is actually go over to your Fire Explorer. Or if you're on your phone, you have to actually find your downloads folder, which is actually pretty easy to do on the phone. And if you need help with that, head over to my Discord. I'll be able to help you out there. But for Windows 10 and 11, all you want to do is go to Fire Explorer, which is just here. And once you are here, what you're going to want to do is go to your downloads folder just here, click on that. And in here, we can see that we have now got our invisible item frames pack. So what you're going to want to do is just double click on this file here, so double click on that. And what this will do is actually load up your Minecraft. And it's also the same steps if you are on the phone. Just double click on the invisible item frames in your download folder. Then once your Minecraft loads up, what you're going to want to do is come to settings just here, click on that. And in settings, you're going to scroll down until you find the global resources, which is just down here, click on that. And next, what you're going to want to do is head over to My Packs just here, click on that. And in here, what you're going to want to do is select the Invisible Item Frames Pack, click that and click on Activate. Now this will load. Now once it's loaded, what you're going to want to do is actually head over to the Activate just here or the Active in here. Make sure this one here is on top. So make sure your Invisible Item Frames Pack is on top of all your other texture packs. So do make sure that is at the top here. What you're going to want to do now is go back and now it's going to load the resource pack. And once that is done, what you're going to want to do is click on play and join your own world. As you can see, I'm now in Minecraft. What you're going to want to do is actually get yourself an item frame and just simply put it on any block you want. As you can see, it is now invisible. Now what you can do is just actually put any item in here. And as you can see, we have now got the invisible item frames. So this makes it look a lot better in Minecraft when you want to hang things up or even add decorations on the floor. So you could put these on the floor and put a token of undying inside. And it looks like someone has dropped it there and it will never despawn. So if this video was helpful for you, be sure to leave a like on it. Also hit that subscribe button as well. And be sure to check out this video here on how to get fresh animations in Bedrock Edition. It'll definitely make your game look a lot better. So be sure to check out that video. But that is it from me, and I'll see you all in my next one.